Hello everybody, welcome back to Cryptic Woodworks. Uh, today I'm looking at another of my older builds, since I have some things going on in the shop but they're not quite ready to show yet. So this rather odd looking cube in front of me is Thomas Jefferson's five-sided book stand that was designed by Thomas Jefferson himself, uh, produced um, uh, by him and his uh, apprentices and workers at his own shop. And uh, the book is uh, just for purposes to show that we can put even rather heavy books on here. And just as a little aside, if you're into some amazing old furniture, it's definitely a book worth checking out. But if I set this aside, we can see that the stand on the top has a ratcheting system. And you can lay it all the way down and close it up completely and you get this sort of nice cube or we can open the ratchet to any one of numerous positions depending on how high we want to display it now each of the side pieces has the same kind of ratchet and the whole stand lets us turn so that we can open all five all four sides plus the top and display five books at a time as the story goes the former president used to like to put all of his different books out <clears throat> and have five things open at once. So in those days before the internet and having five browsers open at once, this is the best you could do. So each of these side pieces has the same thing. There's a little bit of a, a swinging catch on a hinge. And then these are just angled grooves that the catch will fit in when you let it down. And then inside, there's just a center post that the whole thing sits on and allows it to rotate. So a very simple way to make things rotate. Now there's a bit of a, a funny story to this. That The first place I saw this developed was Roy Underhill of the Woodwright Shop. <clears throat> and I had been researching the book stand. And other than some pictures um, on... The uh, Jefferson website, there was nothing written about this. And apparently information was hard to come by. And many years ago, and I believe the first or second woodworking in America, uh, down in Valley Forge, PA, uh, Roy was there. And uh, I was there early one morning, walked up to his desk, and I said, Hey, could uh, did you tell me anything about the, uh, the show you did on Thomas Jefferson's book stand? Because I was having trouble finding anything out about it. And he goes and he reaches underneath his table picks up his entire book stand, sets it down in front of me, and proceeds to, you know, take the whole thing apart where you can, show me how everything went together, describe the whole process. You know, and he was, he was, he was even talking about how his, as it uh, moved and aged a bit, would start to squeak on him. Uh, and then when he's done, he said, oh, and by the way, I have a measured drawing, so just send me your email and I'll give that to you. So from his measured drawing, I was able to put my copy together, uh, the, er the original ones were, I believe, all either walnut or cherry. Uh, I happen to have a lot of red oak and walnut, so I went with the uh, red oak as the faces, walnut as the breadboard ends. And if I swing it around, you'll see that these faces are put into the breadboard ends with these full through tenons. This helps to keep the faces nice and flat so that they can't move around. And then these side pieces even, uh, they have the same thing. so. I would make all these through tenons, put them through, then come back through on the saw and cut these off at the 45 degree angle so that when they all hang down, they can swing together and close into a tight cube. So mine never closed quite perfectly, but uh, plenty good enough for me for a first try on this. So it was actually a pretty long project. You're going to have to cut a lot of through mortises. Uh, I did use a mortising machine for this, made it go a little bit quicker. But it's a very fun project and uh, a great piece just to have around the house. Nice conversation piece. And it'll even hold an uh, iPad or tablet just fine. So uh, you can mix the old and the new. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.